right here we have two free plugins. We have Tape Cassette 2, which obviously is a cassette tape emulation plugin, and Flux Mini, which is a movement filter. Now, both of these plugins are free, but they do require a serial number, and you will get your free serial number in your account, all right? So once you load these up in your DAW, open them up, they are going to ask you for a serial number, head back to your account, copy your free serial number, paste it in, and you will own both of these plugins forever. All right, so let's go ahead and take a real quick look at both of these plugins. So Tape Cassette 2, obviously a uh, tape emulation plugin. Here it is on guitar. You have saturation. You have an auto gain control here, which is kind of nice because if you start to really saturate this, obviously the, the volume is going to go up. So we'll put our auto gain on right there. You have an impulse response of a type one cassette. Turn that on. Low pass, overall noise, and the wow and the flutter. So pretty simple to use. Over sampling over here, and then plenty of presets right there. Let me bypass this. All right. Bring in some tape goodness constrains that frequency range to cassette tape. Pull in some noise if you want. All right, nice tape emulation there. Try it on uh, piano here and we'll go to the grandpa's piano preset. very 80s like I bypass that completely clean back on there we go bypass your impulse response for your type 1 tape back on. all right so that is tape cassette 2 again pretty simple to figure uh, figure that one out then we'll move on to flux mini here so this is our movement filter let me bypass it for now just try it on these drums here let's turn on our filter bring some movement and life to that we have three different modulation types amplitude low pass or high pass filter change your sync so speed it up make it slower put on the low pass there Change the resonance, high pass filter, overall mix of that. A lot of presets up here to get you started. In fact, let's go to this bass track right here. I'll bypass it for now. So there's the bass, pretty simple, just the static bass sound. Now we'll turn this on and we'll choose the fake chain to preset which sort of emulates having a sidechain kick uh, into a compressor and on the bass track, you know, if you want your bass to, uh, to pump. So we'll just turn this on. Now we have a nice pumping bass sound. Of course, we can modify this however we want. Back on the amp there. Slower, faster. You can freely change your movement graph, come up with different shapes, double click to add another node there. Put it on this pad here. So just the pad. Then we'll go to a preset in here and we'll just grab this one. Turn it on. Some movement to that now. Again, adjust things however you want. You can also trigger this with uh, with MIDI if you want. Of course, you have to have a track that's outputting MIDI to it. So I have this track here outputting MIDI to this uh, Flux Mini right here. And of course, turn it on. Let me change this preset first back to our fake chain for our bass. And I'll turn it on. We'll just say one shot 
and you're not going to hear anything until I press a key on my keyboard and that triggers it. So trigger it whenever you want. And then you can also trigger it uh, with a re-trigger. So you can re-trigger this movement. So if you want to pick up both of these plugins or just pick up one of them, you can head right over here. Of course, the link will be in the description below. Again, both of these do need a serial number, but the serial number will be completely free. So log in or register and create an account. And that is where you will find your free serial numbers. Okay, so both of these links will be in the description below. Grab one, grab both. It's up to you, but head over there again down in the uh, description below. Head over here and get your two free plugins.